can we fix it? Well, let's find out. On the bench today, we have an older style LED controller. Now this, unlike the serialized WS2812s that use a data rail to communicate to the actual LED, these supply individual current to each of the LED via a power rail. As you can see here on the circuit board, we've got individual for blue, red, green, and so on. Now one thing to note here is that you'll notice on the LED strip, we only have green and red. And the reason for that is you'll notice there is a missing component on this board. Taking a closer look at the PCB, it's rather genius here. So they just have a standard DC barrel jack that supplies power. We've got a diode for reverse direction and a little bit of power control there. This is actually an EE prom chip, the 24CO2. I'm guessing that stores the uh, data that uh, holds for the IR code. So this uses an IR transmitter to receive and change the LED colors. My guess is those are stored in the EE prom. This is a little uh, microcontroller that they flash the firmware onto for controlling and doing all of that. I'm guessing they've price set like pulse width and things like that. And then it has three separate rails here with some MOSFETs or transistors that control the signals that turn on and off each individual LED. And keen eyes will notice that Q3, the one that goes to the blue rail for the blue LEDs, is missing. That is our problem. No worries though, a couple months ago I purchased a little sample pack off of Amazon that has some SMD MOSFETs on it. And I think we should have the N channel that we need. I will probably go ahead and select a 3416 or the 3400. So we'll give that a shot and see how it does. Decided to go with the AO3400. This is, I believe, a 30 volt um, MOSFET, which should do nicely. Let's give it a try. Gone ahead and just done a quick test fit to see if she will actually work. So I went ahead and just set it on the pads right now before I solder it in. Well, what do you know? Look at that. Red, green, blue. Red, green, blue. Sure enough, it was a bad MOSFET. So here's what the old one looks like right here. If I can grab it without losing it. So we went ahead and pulled that one off there and stuck a new one on and we're good to go. So can we fix it? Yes, we can. Oh, turns out I was able to get it with my quick. Uh, heated it up there with the hot air tool, and we are back in action. Red, green, blue, red, green, blue.